Alright guys, welcome back to the outpost. It's a beautiful day today. Actually, we're supposed to have a really nice week. It's supposed to be like less than 5% rain all week long, but the temperatures have dropped. It's about 41 uh, degrees this morning when I got here. I think it's up around 50 now since the sun is shining. Um, but uh, what I've got planned to do today is I've got some electrical wiring. I'm going to go ahead and run some wire down underneath for lights before I start to close up um, between the floor joists because it'll be a whole lot easier to do that right now and um, then once I get that done I'm going to start uh, probably putting in some insulation I've got the whole house um, wrapped in plastic uh, we had some pretty high winds yesterday I came up here after church just to check uh, to see what was going on up here and they were uh, 30 plus mile an hour, sometimes gust up to 40, uh, but the plastic held up really well. So I'm proud of that, proud of getting that six mil plastic. Um, oh, by the way, if you haven't checked out our new channel, go check it out. There's a link down in the description. It's called Outpost Review. Um, if you would, please subscribe and like, and that will help us get it out in, through the YouTube algorithm, actually, to benefit other people. Um, if they find us either through uh, our review channel or our outpost channel, um, it does help. So yeah, we're excited about that and we hope that, um, you know, for those of you that want more behind the scenes and, and more information on what we're doing up here, we hope that you will enjoy that. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and eat up my breakfast now and we'll go down there, get our tools together and we'll get started. everyone you're catching me in the act um just kidding I wanted to come on here and say hello um, some people have commented about missing me and missing uh, my craziness and I've just been busy I'm honestly so exhausted um, just ready for some time off to be honest with you it's been a little crazy here lately and actually today is camo day here at school so I went up to the outpost last night um, and got my camo, went home and washed it because Lord we know it stunk, not really. It just had like some sawdust and mud and stuff. So I think I still have some mud and sawdust in my pockets. But anyway, um, I'm wearing my good old Smo hoodie that is so soft um, and I'm actually really excited about it. People were telling me they love my camo when I was out taking temperatures today. And I said, thanks. I said, you'd love my hoodie even better. And I unzipped my jacket and I was like, check this out and check us out on YouTube. Um, I hope you all are enjoying the new um, Outpost review. Uh, it's going to be good. I think you all will like it just as much as you like the videos. I did get called out by, I think, Fred last night um, for not posting videos. So I am sending this out to him. And to everyone else who misses me, um, do you have a question though? What is something that you can eat before it's born and also after it's born? Do you know? A chicken. Um, that little tidbit came from my pops who lives out in Houston, Texas. So shout out to pops. Love you very much. Last night we went to see dad's new little puppy that he is getting and it's so cute and it just wanted to hoop and holler and um, I told him what if it's a real barker, but that's what he wants, so it's a good thing, I guess. Oh, last night when I went up to the outpost to get my camo, I was seriously like afraid I was going to get ate by a bear or a coyote or whatever because Lord knows we know that I'm jumpy and I'm scared of my own shadow. So I actually had to keep Stephen on the phone with me um, and then he was going the ch -ch 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 or however that goes and I had to tell him to quit because Right about that time, something ran out from under the little, uh, little cabin, little door thing. And we know how we don't play that game, so that scared me. Um, but the little lights that are on the Hobbit-style compost toilet, it looks so good. Like, really, um, actually scared me when I was driving up because they were lit up. Like, they were plugged in type deal, but they weren't. It was obviously solar, so it was pretty neat. Anyway, um... I miss you all and 
hopefully we will get to chat it again soon. I will try to do better at making these videos. Take care, be safe, and again, as always, add us, like us, love us on YouTube. Bye.
Okay. My plywood will go down. I still see my floor joist where I can actually screw and or nail my plywood. And um, I've got it in place. It doesn't uh, touch the bottom where I'm gonna put my reflective barrier. I've got actually a dead air space on top and on the bottom that's gonna be between the actual fiberglass portion and the reflective barrier. So this is the way that it's gonna be installed in the house. I know a lot of times you put it in from underneath and you look, use the little wire hangers, but it was, it's a whole lot easier for me to install it from above here, plus the fact that since I'm using the radiant barrier, I need um, that surface not to touch anything that is uh, solid. So.
Well guys, that's about all i got time for today, but I'll tell you what, this plastic um, has really held up well, so I'm really proud of that, and actually today, I don't know if you could hear that wind blowing and slapping this door uh, pretty much all day long, um, I really didn't feel any wind in there, so, you know, I think once that I get the floor down and get a chimney or a flue put in, and get the wood stove put in there that uh, I would probably actually stay 
fairly comfortable uh, building a fire, especially when it gets colder out here. Of course, I will have to close that upper portion up there, but um, I think that's going to work. So and the wind hasn't seemed to have damaged it very much. I did miss a screw up there and kind of pull that plastic through, but the rest of it seems to have stayed exactly where it was at. Of course, I couldn't pull it real tight. You see it kind of moving back and forth, but pretty much that's it all the way around. So don't forget we have a brand new channel called Outpost Review. There is a link in the description. Uh, it's about product reviews and more in-depth uh, behind the scenes on what we're doing here at the Outpost. So go check it out. It may be something that you enjoy. Oh, by the way, I wanted to mention to you too that we're going to be getting a new puppy. Uh, something to keep me company up here. And uh, that's going to be exciting because, um, you know, I like puppies. I like dogs. And uh, I was kind of undecided on what I was going to get, but we found uh, a local breeder who had some dogs, and um, we've decided to go ahead and get one of them. Uh, the dog is AKC registered. So if you want to uh, run over to our other channel, uh, I talk a little bit more about uh, the puppies and show some clips, uh, which the Outpost review that channel, there's a link down in the description. But um, yeah, I'm excited about uh, getting the dog uh, the first week of December. Anyway, glad that you guys had time to stop by and hang out with me up here while I'm putting this insulation in. Uh, hope that everyone has a great evening. Take care of yourselves, and we look forward to seeing you back up here at the Outpost again.